it could seem a little bit overwhelming. What prompts do I use? What do I put where? How do I create certain AI art images? How do I get started with prompt engineering? Or where can I even find some of the best chat GPT prompts? Well, today I'm going to help you guys out with all of that because I have 10 chat GPT premium prompts that are guaranteed to help you level up your SEO, your content marketing, and create stunning and beautiful AI art images. There's a link in my description where you could access all of these to help you improve your chat GPT prompt engineering. Today I'll share 10, but make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'll be doing a lot more videos like this and sharing a lot more awesome chat GPT prompts as this goes on. The link in my description will take you to this page right here. Now this is a page on my website and this is where I'll be sharing all these prompts for you to use. Now all you have to do is click on each of these drop boxes and then you could just come in here and copy and paste the whole entire prompt for yourself and then you just paste them directly into chat GPT. And as you continue to scroll down, you'll notice different categories. Now a lot of these prompts that you guys will be using, they might say it's for Midjourney or Leonardo AI, etc. But just to let you guys know, a lot of these prompts are interchangeable, meaning if one of these prompts works in Midjourney, it will also work in Leonardo AI or Adobe Firefly. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy on the first one and then go directly over to ChatGPT. Now that we're over here in the ChatGPT, let's go ahead and go with the first prompt. This first prompt is going to be called Prompt Engineer. And I'm simply just going to paste this prompt exactly how it is. Now check this out. It's says you chat GPT will be my prompt engineer. Basically, it's going to become an engineer, a prompt generator for any sort of topic I want it to provide me with. So it understands exactly what it's saying. So the topic I want to create a prompt for is just simply going to be SEO. So paste in SEO and then it takes things a step further. So now it's going to ask you a few more specific questions. And so here we're going to go. I'm going to go ahead and just paste in what I'm looking for. I'm looking for improvements for local SEO, 1000 words, informative tone, and then help me rank for the keyword SEO Houston. Once I have that, let's hit the send button and watch ChatGPT go to work. So now I typed in more details of the prompt I wanted. And so now it gives me iteration number one. Now this is an actual prompt. So this is a prompt generator. So ChatGPT is giving me a prompt for my topic and category. So now what you want to do is just copy this prompt right here. And if you're not satisfied with that one, you can say provide another one, please. So we have two to choose from. So what you want to do is you copy and paste this prompt. And I find it extremely helpful just to go ahead and start a new chat. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste that prompt right here in the chat GPT. And once you see it getting stuck, just type in continue and it continues the process. So here it is. I said write a comprehensive 1000 word article about local SEO in Houston. And then it does just this. Here is the article. This isn't a chat GPT article generator. It's a prompt engineer. And so you're basically basically giving ChatGPT some details and based off those details, it's going to give you prompts to actually use going forward. So now moving on to the next one, this is going to be an amazing prompt to create some mid journey AI art. So the next thing I'll do is just paste this prompt in to ChatGPT just like this. And as you can see, it's a very long and detailed prompt, but don't worry about all the verbiage or, or all the certain words and terminology. This prompt is going to work wonders for you. So I pasted the long prompt in and then from there, all you have to do is just type in one, two, three, words, anything you want, and then it will generate one prompt for you. Then just specify, please add five more, 10 more, etc. And then here is what it creates for us. Check this out. Let's go ahead and just go with this prompt right here. So now let's head over to mid journey and see exactly how it works. So now that I'm in mid journey, I'll just paste this prompt in here and let's let mid journey go to work. And while it's thinking, we're going to come back to mid journey and see the final product. So the next prompt we're going to look at is one that's called SEO content master. You can see the whole entire prompt right here on my screen. Now, the important thing you want to do is just just again, replace anything within the bracketed text with your own. Now in this prompt specifically, you can actually leave the bracketed text where it says three headings and three subheadings. What you want to replace things with is that after the hashtag keyword, that's where you want to actually add your specific topic or keyword. So for example, as I expand this one over here, you can see what I did. I said the hashtag keyword SEO or title, how to improve your SEO. Okay. So I'm going to take this prompt and copy it and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So I'll come over back to chat GPT and I'll just paste this prompt exactly how it is. Write a 100% unique creative article of a minimum of 1500 words with three headings, subheadings, utilizing the keyword SEO or this title, how to improve your SEO. So now after I pasted this prompt, it gave me everything I asked it to do. It gave me the title, it gave me the SEO meta description, introduction, and then different H1 and H2s, unveiling the secrets of effective SEO, high quality and relevant content, the king of SEO, etc. And I can just scroll down and see that it added more and more things. And then again, once you see that it kind of gets stuck, just type in the word continue and then just simply let ChatGPT keep going. There's my beautiful SEO content
content and master. Now let's head back over to Mid Journey and see how well this actually created our artwork. And so here's the first one. So I actually asked Mid Journey to give us two. So here is the floating city one I asked it for. Not bad. And then here is the other one, the first one I copied and pasted regarding a cyberpunk futuristic city. Again, not bad at all. And you can just see some of the beautiful artwork that Mid Journey created for me based off of this same exact prompt. Now staying on the same topic, let's do another one, but this time for Leonardo AI. I have a very good prompt for this one. This one is going to create some ultra realistic portrait type photos. Watch this prompt. Now you can see over here on my screen, this is the specific prompt we're going to be working with. Photorealism, hyperrealism, cinematic still, a striking street style portrait of a rugged post-apocalyptic survivor braving the elements. And it has some negative prompts that you want to make sure that you use as well. So all you have to do is just copy and paste the first prompt, add it to Leonardo AI, and then come back and then copy this negative prompt and then add that as well. So let's go over to Leonardo AI and select the Leonardo diffusion model and generate with this model and let's go ahead and paste in the first part of the prompt that we copied then now that we have the first part of the prompt copy make sure you turn add negative prompt on turn that button on and then that's where you want to come back over to the negative prompt and then copy these series of words right here and then go back over and you want to add the negative prompts in the box below your prompt the regular prompt up top and then below that once you have negative prompts turned on this is where you're going to add the negative prompt hit generate and watch this magic happen that is a beautiful depiction of exactly what we were looking for. Now, just to show you guys one more thing, let me give you guys another example of the image it made for me with the same exact prompt. And look at this one it made for me right here as well. I mean, it's just so realistic. It really is. I can't tell the difference between this being AI and this being a real portrait. And so this is one of my favorite prompts. It's extremely realistic and I've used it all the time. Now, the other cool thing about this prompt is that you could change a few words and then create a completely different sort of photo. So for example, you could just replace the thing like plastic raincoat or you can replace the word rugged with sophisticated or anything like that and get a completely different set of images by just changing a few words around. Moving back on over to ChatGPT, this is another prompt I really like. This is going to be called product analysis. And so you could see over here on my screen right here, this prompt is specifically about product comparison. Here's what I mean. And so in this prompt right here, it says, you are an expert on product analysis and development. Use the 10-step process below to analyze and create a detailed report about fill in the blank. In this case, I said a detailed report about Apple Studio Display. So with that said, let's head back over to ChatGPT and then just simply paste this prompt in here and watch it get to work. And so you can see this is a long prompt, but watch the magic happens as it goes down. So you're basically an expert on products. Identify the top five competitors, analyze reviews, list the 10 biggest unmet category, and basically you plug in your specific product right here within the bracket of the text. In this case, I use Apple Studio Display. That's actually a computer monitor. And so let's see what happens when I go down. And so as I go down on ChatGPT, it says product analysis and detailed report. Apple Studio Display for people looking to buy a new computer monitor. Now that's the other thing you have to keep in mind. You have to put in the other bracketed text up here, two things. You want to put the product for an analysis, in this case, Apple Studio Display. And then in this bracketed text, you want to put who the audience is. In this case, I put, it's for people looking to buy a new computer monitor. Now, once you have those two things, scroll down and look at this magic chat GPT provided us. Here's the product, and then the avatar is people looking to buy a new computer monitor. Here are the top five competitors. Dell UltraSharp, LG, Asus, BenQ, and Samsung Odyssey. Strengths and weaknesses. Here are the strengths and weaknesses of the Apple Studio display. So we have high resolution for strength. And then one of the weaknesses is premium pricing. Very good. And then for each competitor, it gives us their strength and their weakness for each one. Very amazing. Unmet category related needs. And then here are those 10. Very good, very good. And then as you keep going, you can see the chat GPT gets hung up. You ask it to continue. And then from there, it just goes on and on and on, giving you the complete product analysis you were looking for, comparing it with the reviews of its competitor. Now let's move on to another prompt. This one's going to help us create some good and fun playlists. Song playlist recommender. Head back over to chat GPT and I'm going to paste this prompt in. I want you to act as a song recommender. I'll provide you with a song and you will create a playlist of 10 songs that are similar to that given song. 
song. And so here's what I did just for simplicity. I said my first song is Paradise by Coldplay. And then just like that, it's going to provide me with 10 songs that are going to be similar to Paradise Coldplay. And so the next song I gave it was a completely different genre. I just said 0 to 100 by Drake. And then here's the playlist. The Weeknd, Drake, Travis Scott, Drake, 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 etc. It will give us more song recommendations based off of the genre. And then there we go. There's playlist name, Hey Jude by the Beatles. And then there's Beatles songs and then other songs similar to that one. All right, let's go back to my prompt generator. And this one's going to be called Leonardo AI or Mid Journey Snow Princess. Now, the reason I call this Snow Princess is because this prompt is interchangeable. Now, what I mean by that is that you could see the prompt on my screen. It's a prompt that starts below and it says you can replace the word Snow Princess with anything you want. Example, Viking Warrior. Also, for some extra flair at the end of this prompt, add a style, for example, style children's picture book and i'll upload this into both leonardo ai and mid journey and then we'll come back and see the artwork it created for us okay so it looks like leonardo ai is done with our prompt check this out here are the viking warriors i asked it to make that's pretty cool i love the way this looks that's a good one too. And so just for comparison, let me go ahead and show you guys what the Snow Princess one would have looked like. Here's what the Snow Princess one would have looked like, which is pretty cool. And so, but in this case, we went ahead and chose a Viking warrior instead. And then here are the two images we get for a Viking warrior. Now, in this case, I'm using the Leonardo Diffusion fine-tuned model. Let's go over to Mid Journey and see exactly what they made for us. So over here in Mid Journey, Mid Journey is done. And then here is the Viking warrior one it made for me. This is very good. I love the color tone, the different gradient color specifically on the bottom right hand one very good so you can see i used the same exact prompt they were beautifully interchangeable in two different apps but the cool thing about this is that i got two completely different and unique but also great looking ai art from both leonardo ai and mid journey so this one is also a very impressive prompt i love to use this prompt is called the debater prompt this prompt will help you solve a debate for any sort of category so in this case i chose my debate topic to be about carbohydrates you could do anything you want you can make more divisive type categories but in this case i'm going to keep it simple and i will just do carbohydrates hit send and see what it can come up with it says i want you to act as a debater I'll provide you with some topics related to the current events, and your task is to research both sides of the debates. Here we go. So then ChatGPT just gave me an introduction, and then it gave me two arguments. Here's an argument in favor of carbohydrates, and then here is the argument opposing. You can keep this simple or get really detailed with this and change the category and topic. All right, going back to a whole completely different chat, I'm going to paste this one in. Now, this prompt is from somebody else, another YouTuber I really like, Matt Wolf. It's very simple, though. It says, what are the absolute coolest, most mind-blowing, out-of-the-box ChatGPT prompts that will really show off the power of ChatGPT? Give me 10. And I can replace contextual elements with whatever I want. So now at the bottom, in my new prompt, I'm going to use the same exact prompt, but now I'm just going to say simply, give me 10 about building wealth. Hit send. So then here are the 10 things. So then find a prompt you want. Copy and paste number eight, for example, okay? Let's go ahead and take that prompt and then go back over to a new chat and then just simply paste that prompt into chat GPT. Look how cool this is. So this basically was a prompt generator and like the one we showed you before, it's going to generate prompts for you. Choose the prompt you want open up a new chat and then copy and paste that prompt. So here's the prompt I created and then it's gonna provide me with these seven items. So now let's go ahead and wrap this up with the 10th one. Now, this is another great prompt I use quite a bit. So let's go back over to ChatGPT and this prompt is quite simple. I'm gonna paste it and again, you'll have access to this with the link in the description. But I said, create a slide deck presentation of 15 slides about the topics. Okay, so here is the main prompt. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and then add my specific topics I want to create this prompt about. So I'm going to come back over to my Airtable base and copy my edited prompt that's going to have the specific topics I want to generate it about. So now I added a specific topic. If I go back up, check this out. Create a slide deck presentation of 15 slides about the topics. ChatGPT, using ChatGPT for SEO, using AI to create AI art, using ChatGPT to increase productivity. Create a table with all this information. Each row in the table will contain one idea. Do you understand? And then just like that, ChatGPT provides me with everything I'm looking for. It's going to give me slide one, title slide, and then here's the title and subtitle. And it's going to do the same thing for 15 slides. And we go all the way down to here's 15 slides. So slide nine is ChatGPT for productivity. Slide eight is the benefits and challenges. Slide seven, examples of AI arts, all the way down to the Q&A. And then at the very bottom, it does what we asked it to do. It creates a table with each slide number and topic on the right-hand side. But it got stuck right here because I don't see 15. So I'll hit continue 
continue, and then it will just go ahead and proceed with the remaining slides. So I have slides one through eight, the topic, and then slides eight through 15, and then on the right-hand side, the topic as well. So tell me what you guys think. These are only 10 out of hundreds of prompts I love that I use for ChatGPT all of the time. And so make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'll be posting a lot more videos like this and sharing a lot more very awesome prompts like these. And so don't forget, link in my description, you could have access to all these prompts and also a lot more. But thank you so much for watching. But until then, we'll see you next time.